This past Saturday, I had uh, the tremendous joy of going to Fredericksburg, Virginia and seeing the Fredericksburg National Cemetery Luminaria. This is a once a year thing. It's done every Memorial Day weekend. Obviously in years past during the pandemic, it wasn't going on, but this year it's back. And I had a wonderful time there. It's just a moving experience. It's one of those things where you don't appreciate the numbers until you see it put in a different form. And seeing 15,000, over 15,000 candles there was just incredible. This luminaria is a tremendously moving experience. This is one of the national cemeteries where you can see things like this. Uh, Gettysburg National Military Park also does one in November for their Remembrance Day ceremonies around the time of the Gettysburg Address. Uh, you can see these also at the Antietam National Battlefield. They do those in early December. I believe it's the first Saturday of December every year, and that's a drive-through kind. So you can actually take your car through and see over 20,000 luminaria. But when you can see these kinds of things, it really brings the past to life in a new way for yourself. You kind of understand the totality of loss. It makes you think about memory and how we remember the past. And you can take your time in many of these instances at these locations. For example, at the Fredericksburg National Cemetery, my wife and I were able to sit underneath a tree in the middle of the cemetery and take it all in and think about those who were laying there beside us, the honored dead, and think about their sacrifice. And they lie now, many of them, in unknown graves. And you think about their stories are lost to history other than being known as an unknown. And it's a pretty sad thing to think that someone never knew where their loved one was buried. But it is up to us to tell their stories and to remember them in our own ways. And this luminaria is one of those ways that we can do just that. We can remember them in a different kind of way. And a lot of people came out to this. Hundreds and hundreds of people showed up. It started at 8 p.m. It went to 11 p.m. We got there around 8 o'clock, and it was still a little bit light. We waited for darkness to come, and we were there until about 9.30. And it was a tremendously moving experience. A lot of young people there. I have to give a shout-out to everyone who works for the Park Service there. They did a tremendous job making sure everything was running smoothly. A lot of scout groups were there helping out. A lot of volunteers. Also interns doing the docent work and letting people know about those lying around them uh, in their graves and, and trying to tell their stories. It was all done very well. Taps being performed every 30 minutes. It's a very moving experience. And if you're ever in the area on Memorial Day weekend, please go check this out at the Fredericksburg National Cemetery. It is fantastic. It is worth your time. Stay up late. Enjoy it. Use it as a way to think about the past in a new way and just have a good time learning about history and what you can do to bring history to light.